I've got something in my pocket for you, Dan. I don't like the sound of that. No, it's good. It's not. Here, take it. What is it? It's a coin. Oh. Yeah. What, what coin? It's a Valentine's coin. Can I use it to purchase a Valentine's Day gift for myself at GameGrabs.com slash merch? That would have been such a better thing for this thing to have done. What? <laughs> you want to try that sentence again? It's, I just, I, I just thought it was a neat coin, but the fact that you could trade it in for, that's such a better idea. Yeah. It's too late now. It's already <sighs> Valentine's Day. At least you can still get merch at GameGrabs.com slash merch. Really? Not with the coin, though. Oh. Also, I used your money to buy this coin. Oh. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Oh, man. Hello. Bingus. <laughs> my beloved. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It's fantastic. I don't know if we had plans on playing this, but the second I saw it, I was like, Aaron, drop whatever the hell you're doing. You... <laughs> Freaks the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose you could say that. I mean, d different people have different levels of freaking out, but this was certainly like mine. This was in my 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 wheel zone house. No, I mean this is not. You're underplaying it. I think you saw. You were like, bangus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're play. Don't show anything. We're playing this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Even now, it's like just fuck. Like, what are we doing? Start class, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but there's school clubs and report cards. It's a cat dating sim. All right. We got to do it. Hold right click to delete a save. I don't want to do that. Yeah, no, we're fine. This game is not in high demand. All right, what's your name? What, I'm know. assuming our name isn't Bingus. Oh. Bingus is the... Oh, the cat that you're trying to romance. Love. Okay. What's our name? Um. <laughs> Grolft. Ooh, I would have gone for a T at the end, but I like I like the D. No, Grolf makes more sense. Okay, all it's right. It's got that like if you signed your name, you know, it's got that whoosh, one. Yeah, yeah, you could you know? slash right through it. Yeah. I got it. All right, we got Grolf. Change uh, name. Change <laughs> icon. What is icon? Whoa. Oh, oh my God. What animal are we, Dan? Or what dessert? <laughs> yeah. Or what hat? <laughs> um. What uh. Does does the uh, does the sparkliness is that unavailable? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, unlockable. Okay, I if I had my druthers, I don't think I can pick anything. Oh, all right. Maybe we'll unlock these later. Yeah. Uh, and then effects. Grolfed, grolfed. Oh, I see. Grolfed. We can make our name. Was I would love the quivering one, <laughs> but I think it might <laughs> it might get old over time. Yeah, that makes me feel uncomfortable. You're from the small town of Zaco. Now you find yourself in a new city at a new school halfway into the semester of your senior year. Aw, oh, dog, prom's right around the corner Hell and you've yeah. got to, a, 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 like, you got to meet people? That's that's a rough, that's got to be a rough situation. Yeah. Do you want to change it? No, no, that's fine. Okay, you want to be from Zako or whatever? I mean, we, we, we have to be in this together. Oh, that's true. We are Grolf. You and I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the left side of the brain and you're the right side of the brain. Absolutely. Although you're sitting on the left side of the couch, so maybe you should be the left side of the brain. We'll figure this out. It's gonna be hard. Beep, beep, beep. Your eyes shoot open, the jarring noise of your alarm jolting you from an otherwise peaceful sleep. Do you want to be grolfed? You be grolfed, I'll, I'll narrate. Okay. Ugh! You groan, already dreading starting the day. I should probably get <laughs> up if I want to be on time for my first day at school. Human, cat, it matters not. The <laughs> protagonist is getting that voice. The thought makes you wince. Maybe you should snooze for just a little longer. No, get up, you freak. You reach over and turn off the alarm and sit up to stretch. See, this isn't real life. This is a power fantasy. Power fantasy? All you did was turn off your alarm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You get it. Because <laughs> in real life, I ain't getting up for shit. It's true. At least it's only one year I have to spend as the new kid. My senior year. You sit on the edge of the bed, slumped, wishing your parents had stuck to their original plan of waiting until you graduated high school before moving to Rinkus City. Rinkus City! <laughs> It's not their fault that dad's job made us move early. Rinka City is like one step up from stupid town. Stupid. Like, like in Spongebob when he walks up, he's like, hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town. <laughs> Rinka City. 
You, you heave a big sigh. Mm. You get out of bed and yawn as you shuffle to the dresser. At least there's no dress code at my new school. You peruse your clothes thoughtfully, catching your bottom lip in your teeth as you flip through your options. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh -huh. Now, what to wear? Nondescriptive conventional or bright and colorful? Jeez, I say go bright and colorful. Yeah, dude. Peacock it. You decided to go all out for the first day. You want to make a good impression, and more importantly, make friends. Yeah. As you dress in your carefully selected outfit, the anxiety gnaws at you. Get this anxiety off me! That's you. <laughs> I'm probably just hungry, that's all. Wow, watching you apply Blistex while you speak, <laughs> I'm like, this is like watching Picasso paint and speak to someone at the same time. It's beautiful. You exit your room and head towards the kitchen. Okay. Whoa. You trod downstairs and find an empty kitchen waiting for you. There's actually backgrounds and shit. Yeah, it's nice. Mom and dad must already be at work. I don't know why I expected them to see me off before school. Your disappointment fades when you notice the handwritten note hanging on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the note reads, have a good day at Zabloing Academy, sweetheart. Get out there and make some friends. We will see you tonight for dinner. Love, mom. Is what I hoped it would say. <laughs> what it actually said was the scrawlings of a lunatic. Yeah. Woof, room, wing. <laughs> <laughs> a soft smile spreads across your face as you read the note. You're thankful for the encouragement. How sweet. Guess I'm on my own as far as food goes. I should probably grab something quick. Drink that cylinder of dish soap. Or oh, that might be a paper towel. Yeah, roll. I think it's a paper towel roll. What would you like for breakfast? Cereal bar or a banana? I don't trust a kitchen that doesn't have anything on the... I know. I don't are... trust a kitchen that keeps moving with your eyes. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that like to keep their counter like totally spotless and keep everything that they need in like drawers and stuff, but it's like, I don't know, keep at least like a coffee maker out or and something. And you're actually making me seasick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a banana. Okay. It's way more uh, healthy than a cereal bar. You grab a ripe banana from the bunch on your way out the door. What bunch? Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. <laughs> uh, you walk out of the apartment and lock the door behind you. Cool. This looks like the, uh, oh God, what? Oh, what? For the, the Chilla art. Yeah, yeah, game. That, that, the, that, stalker, the game. stalker game. Yeah. Oh no. You walk towards the elevator and try to remember the route to school you had memorized using online maps the night before. Online maps. I know I have to take the metro, but was it G train or the J train? And what if it's a soft G that's pronounced like J? Yeah. No! J. <laughs> as you, the as, drain. <laughs> as you step into the elevator and out of the building, you figure G train is probably your safest bet to getting to the east side of the city where the academy is. The Whoa. walk to the station is nice. Traffic hums beside you and the sun shines warmly on your skin. What a cute little street. Look at the cat graffiti. <laughs> oh God! I, I should have. I think that might be an ad or something. Oh really? Like, Come to our shop. We have cats. Oh my God, I should have taken Dramamine before this playthrough. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> despite how pretty, also the way that words show up, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> despite how pretty the day is, every step you take towards school elevates your anxiety. God, those words come out like if those if they could make a sound, it would actually be like. <laughs> 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 the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you arrive at the station, climb down the steps, and quickly swipe your metro card and push through the turnstile. <laughs> you, <laughs> you wait on the platform, watching the crowd of people beginning to gather on the G train. <laughs> or the G train. When it arrives, you wait for the flood of people to pass board briskly, trying to avoid bumping into anyone. Whoa. You take the first seat available by the doors. Man, there's just like... There's a lot of traveling. I know. There's so much like not cat dating. Yeah. <laughs> like, where's all the cats? <laughs> it's just backgrounds. Whew. You breathe a sigh of relief. The crowd about you has settled into the car and the train pulls off. What's the artistic point behind? Because there's so many, especially Japanese dating sims and I guess games that are trying to be like Japanese dating sims mm -hmm. where they, they just show the background and there's no people. Right. And it's like, it's very upsetting. <laughs> And, and 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 oftentimes the game will be like, look at all these people. Maybe and there's nobody there. Maybe it's to get you sort of like 
meditative and into the world. And then when someone show actually shows up that you're talking to, it's like a bigger deal. I guess, but I don't see how. That or they just didn't away. feel like drawing a bunch right. of people. Yeah, I think I mean, that's it, really. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you could make different versions, or it's like the busy streets, and then like the not so busy streets, or whatever. It also looks like when you look at the floor and the side, like the dividers, it looks like they finished the painting and then threw a bunch of sand across. Or somebody was on the train and was like doing cocaine and sneezed really hard. Yeah, and it just settled. <laughs> and people were like, "We can't." We can't put this into a line. You might as well just leave it. Yeah, just uh, let people just pick up the scraps throughout the day. The scra the cocaine scraps. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you breathe a sigh of cocaine-filled relief. The crowd about you has settled into the car, and the train pulls off. To pass the time, you open your phone and scroll through various apps. Trust us, bro. <laughs> as you scroll, you feel as though someone is watching you. Of course. But, yeah. It's the government through your phone. <laughs> yeah. Look around? Yes, take a glance around. You look up from your phone, scanning the train for the source of the watchful presence. There's nobody fucking here. You immediately- ah! <laughs> You immediately lock eyes with a mysterious figure sitting across from the train from you. All right, Dan, hot or not? And not. Why no. do you- why- It's a hyena. Man, but why'd they, they like, have to come at us like that? But they like jokes. I'm getting the feeling, remember in that Zelda CDI game where everyone you talk to is constantly in slight motion? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's a very strange feeling. Ugh. You look back down at your phone, feeling the heat beginning to rise to your cheeks. It just like popped up and then popped back down. Well, they were just indicating that a sexy hyena gave you the, gave you the eye. So it is sexy. Well, I mean, why else would the heat be rising to your cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Are, is the heat rising to your cheeks, Dan? I, they never even specified which set of cheeks. <laughs> oh, so true. Why was he just staring at me like that? As you try to refocus on your phone screen, you feel as though his eyes are still on you. Your ass is aflame with passion. <laughs> you make your way up to the station stairs and begin the brisk walk to Zabloing Academy. You just rode the train in a circle for some reason. Yeah, this is where we started. <laughs> this is exactly back. As you walk, head down, the feeling from the train car simply won't go away. What, nausea? You really can't shake it. Perhaps Ugh. some Tums. You can't help yourself and sneak a glance behind you as you walk. The the stranger hy ah! <laughs> Please don't kill me! Yeah, the hyena has joined a pack in a primal dance of death and destruction. <laughs> Is he following me? The thought makes your stomach flip, so you quicken your pace. You're almost to the academy. But don't show fear, and don't run. That'll activate his chase instincts. <laughs> what if he's going to try and kidnap me or something? You sneak another glance. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> nope. Despite, ah! Despite your quickened pace, the stranger appears to keep up effortlessly, as his long legs matching your strides with grace and ease. Mufasa, he says. He's got that <laughs> dilated pupil action. <laughs> Or is he just looking way down at you? Oh, God. His eyes fixated on you or something on the ground seem to confirm your fears. Oh, like the shadow in his is like the pupils looking down. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what it feels like. <laughs> wow. <sighs> your heart rate quickens and you face forward again. Mom's spaghetti trying to focus on spotting the academy. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> I think I can see the fence where the school gate is. Run! <laughs> Make a break for it. You maintain your brisk walk until you arrive at the bricked courtyard. The bronze Zabloing Academy letters say bronze Zablo Okay, got it. Zabloing Academy letters shining like a beacon of hope and safety from your pursuer. You quickly cross the courtyard towards the safety of the doors and quickly try to decide what to do quickly before the stranger quickly catches up. It's it's gonna be one of those situations where they stop you and they're like, hey, you dropped your wallet. Yeah, of course, it's gonna be a romantic interest. Should I confront him? Yes. You decide to confront him and turn on your heel to face him after reaching the doors. Well, what is your problem, dude? What? You've been following me, haven't you? Hmm. I'm not following you, sad ears. <laughs> oh, I'm not following you, nya. 
<laughs> oh yeah, then what are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> like the two like index fingers <laughs> yeah. of his paws like start tapping together. <laughs> I'm tr I'm just trying to get to class, weirdo. Why would I follow <laughs> you? <laughs> oh. Your cheeks begin to burn with embarrassment. Of course, he's just a student. I'm so stupid! My bad, it just, it seemed like, I'm sorry. It's fine. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new or something? Yeah. Is it that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> a little. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Well, newbie weirdo, I'm Soga or Saga? Saga? I'm Saga. I... Ring. Oh, that's the belt. No shit, Saga. Better get to class. Saga that's turns good. and qu uh, quickly walks into the building. I didn't even get to tell him my name. It's Groft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Guess I can't expect too much from someone I did accuse of following me. You follow Saga past the heavy wooden doors and, a, and walk into the blowing academy. You're greeted with a brightly lit school hallway. There are particles floating everywhere. <laughs> Why is that? Do you see those? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it's just to give it some life. I guess. It's like what it's like in those ghost hunter shows when like the light catches a speck yeah. of dust and they're there, like, what an was that? Orb. Yeah, <laughs> an orb. <laughs> You're greeted with brightly Oh yeah, I said this. Sorry. The distinctly schoolish smell washes over you. You look around for a front office to get help from. I have no clue what my classes are or where they are for that matter. You spot a room on your right down the hall, neatly labeled with office. How convenient. You head towards it and walk in cautiously. Upon entering the office, your nose is greeted with the strong smell of coffee brewing. You're reminded of that scene in The Shining, where the window leads to the outside, but on the other side of the wall is like more hotel. So it's like, how could that be? Yeah. If, if anything reminds you of The Shining, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bingar. What are you doing in here? Sorry, I was just needing help finding my class. I'm a new student. Oh, eh, a new student. Yes, that's all. The strange man heaves a relieved sigh and walks toward his desk, littered with papers and kitty litter. <laughs> you gave me quite the fright. There is paper litter, actually. Yeah, I see that. I'm sorry. Oh, you, you mean in general for cats? Yes, yes. Yeah, also that. Why is this guy so jumpy? Don't be worried. J just worried you are someone else. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks Not for hinting suspicious. at backstory. <laughs> Noticing the confused look on your face, the older cat continues. Anyways, I'm Principal Bingar, and you are? I'm Groft. Ah, uh, yes. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you as well, sir. Game over. You, sh <laughs> you shift your weight from one foot to the other to the other to the other. You have four feet because you're a cat. The tension in the room, palpable. <laughs> the tension in the room. Dot dot dot. Palpable. <laughs> Gonna win an Oscar for writing on this one. <laughs> so, can I have my class schedule, please? Why, yes, of course. He shuffles through some of the papers strewn on his desk and hands you a page with a coffee stain on the top right corner. Your first class has already started. Allow me to show you where it is. Yes. <laughs> That would be nice. Thank you. Also, stop being so weird, please. Although your interaction with him is painfully awkward, you didn't want to get lost on your first day. Principal Bingar gets up from his desk and slinks out the door, not waiting for you to follow. You scurry to follow him out the door and find him already waiting at a room a couple doors down from his office. You wish his tail was down so you wouldn't have to look at his butthole as he walks out the door. <laughs> but alas. But alas, cats have no shame like that. <laughs> ever. Release the butthole cut, everyone says. That's what <laughs> it means they mean no harm. What? When they show you their butthole like that. When their tail is straight up. Really? Yeah, it's like their signal that they're friendly. Boy, that is like the opposite of humans. Yeah. If someone imagine. shows you their butthole, like... Chances are they mean you a great deal of harm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like walking down the street and somebody's like, oh! and then like turns around and it's just like, ah! 
I mean you no harm. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks. Actions speak louder than words. <laughs> that was just so quick. <laughs> yes, it is this one right here. Thank you, Principal Bingar. You offer the you offer you offer the older cat a warm smile, and you turn the handle of the classroom and brace yourself mentally. The door opens and <laughs> reveals a simple classroom filled with no people. Desks. Before you could get a good Cats. look at your <laughs> classmates, people here. before you get a good look at your classmates, the cat standing at the front of the room speaks. Here he comes. There's a world map, and it's our world. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, this is an alternate cat universe. It's just dog. our world, but yeah, it's all cats. Yeah, dude, it, it, just Google Maps Zabloink Academy, and you'll see where this <laughs> takes place. Oh, God! You better be Binksky. Yeah. Oh, hello! <laughs> you must be the new student I've heard so much about! You nod nervously, feeling the gaze of your classmates shift onto you. Why are they all fucking shaved cats? I don't know, and they're all so freaked out. <laughs> I'm your teacher, Mr. Binksky. Please come and introduce yourself to the class. Your stomach flips, the dreaded new student introduction. Uh, okay. I'm groft. I'm new. <laughs> okay. I'll bite. <laughs> Mr. Binksky looks at you expectantly. Is that what that look says? Keep introducing yourself or stay quiet? Yeah, well, I don't know anything about mm -hmm. this fucking cat, so... I, uh, just moved here, and I like video games, I guess. Uh, alrighty then! <laughs> Please take a seat, Groft! <laughs> you sound like Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> You look across the classroom and recognize Saga. Oh. He's sitting next to a menacing looking stranger. Oh, oh, oh hello. Stranger. It's like sexy Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's an empty seat in front of them. They should just put the Brazzers logo underneath them. Yeah. <laughs> look at that smolder. <laughs> you frantically scan the rest of the <laughs> BBC big brown cats. <laughs> You frantically scan the rest of the classroom, hoping to avoid facing the embarrassment with Saga from earlier. To the right of the classroom, you see a seat by the window. Where should I sit? In front uh, of Saga! On the windowsill. So they can fucking double team you from behind. You're a cat! What? What? Gotta face him- oh, this is you. <laughs> Gotta face him eventually anyways, I guess. You muster every ounce of confidence you have and walk up to the empty seat in front of the two cats. You spray the area. <laughs> and establish dominance and sit down. <laughs> you try to ignore the stares coming from your classmates as your ears burn. Are hyenas cats? No, they're all cats, dude. He's not a hyena. He's a fucking hyena. Dude. You think so? Yeah. Well, did you really ask the question, are hyenas cats? Yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah, that's They're much thought. closer to dogs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe it's some kind of weird fucking, like, Leopard fox cat or some <laughs> shit. It's like, oh, okay. You pull out a notebook from your bag and turn to a fresh page, looking tentatively towards the front of the room. Your gaze meets <laughs> that of a classmate who seems to be sca staring at you. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> Weirdo. You turn your gaze fully to the front, making an effort to ignore the soft popping noises coming from your odd classmate. Uh, oh, uh, oh, Mio, please cut it out! You're giving me a headache! Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, today's lesson will be an introduction to our climate change unit, geochemical processes. Oh, way to bring me down, man. There's an audible groan from everyone in the room, but you title the header of your notes neatly and try to focus on Binksky's lesson. Geochemical processes always rise things up, Dan. Word. <laughs> like, we have to do against our government? <laughs> the general uneasiness of this morning begins to fade as you listen to Binksky drone on about the carbon cycle. Hell yeah. As you mindlessly copy down the pie chart about emissions, you catch a soft snickering behind you. You sneak a glance behind you to see Saga and his friend whispering to one another and giggling. Hell yeah. <laughs> You turn back to the front before Mr. Binksky notices, and you try to listen on the in on their conversation. We're gonna fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, or is, is that yeah, me? Saga. Oh, yeah, they thought it was following them like some kind of weirdo stalker. 
That's Floppa. Floppa. <laughs> As if they're stalker worthy. Delusional much. Waka Floppa flame. <laughs> Floppa. <laughs> you feel humiliated and your eyes begin to swell against your will with tears. Imagine it. <laughs> I bet they'll get along great with Bengus. Bengus. Freaks of a feather flock together, right? It's <laughs> just, <laughs> just like little spots of like discolored just marking. Another round of Snickers from behind you causes anger to bubble up inside of you. It is almost overwhelming. You decide to turn around and glower at them from over your shoulder. You stare at the stranger beside Saga until his dark green eyes meet yours. <laughs> Oh. You narrow your eyes, wishing you could shoot laser beams out of your pupils and incinerate him. <laughs> you abruptly turn around back towards your notes, <laughs> full of rage. I can't believe he looked at me like that. The audacity of that green-eyed piece of shit. Was that it? Who was that? Who's that? What's happening? Well, I looked, we, Grolft looked back at the two cats making fun of him. But was that Floppa, like, embarrassed? Yes. At the end? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, because I, because Grolf looked back and was like, <sighs> Right. And then they were like, oh, shit. Got it. Uh, uh, Which is why it is important <laughs> to remember for the test, phosphorus is considered the most present of limiting nutrient in ecosystems. For the rest of class, you could barely focus on your notes. The whispers behind you had stopped, at least. Ring! That's the bell. The students around you hurriedly pack their books into their bags, talking over Mr. Binksky on their way out the door. That class was 30 seconds long. <laughs> yeah. You get up to walk out as well and hoist your bag over your shoulder. My first day has been the worst day. <laughs> this is scenario, worst case scenario. As you exit the classroom, you check your next class on the paper given to you by Principal Binger. Although the vari through the various coffee stains, you can tell your next class is algebra. Man, that is exactly what I was hoping was next for me. I'm so lucky. I don't want to cry at all. You wince as you watch Saga and the mean stranger walk right into the classroom you're headed to next. Great! <laughs> as you watch them go, you catch a pink blob out of the corner of your eye. Absent-mindedly, you... I don't think that's meant to be a oh absent-mindedly <laughs> you almost stepped on this little pink cat i should apologize there <laughs> s no way he didn't <laughs> notice me almost stomp on him oh <laughs> uh, hey maybe they're getting paid by the question mark <laughs> oh hello my bad i didn't mean to almost crush you to death there or did i <laughs> it, it really is okay I get almost stepped on daily, either because people just don't see me, or if I accidentally make eye contact with Flop or Akaga. Well, who the fuck is Kaga now? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one, I guess. Anyways, what's your name? I'm Groft. That's a good name. It really fits you. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the anime thing. <laughs> yeah. Touching the index fingers. <laughs> Thanks, what's yours? Oh, I'm Bingus. Nice to meet you. I'm going to scratch my neck really fast and close my eyes as sweat beads shoot off my head. Yeah. <laughs> my owner has to sponge bathe me every day, <laughs> twice a day. Bye! <laughs> Bingus, that sounds so familiar. From the game title. Wasn't that who Saga and that jerk were talking about? Are you new? I haven't seen you before. Yeah, and my first day is going italics swimmingly. That's great to hear. <laughs> I'm not that good at picking up on social cues. What's your next class? Your sarcasm is completely lost on Bingus. Yeah. Algebra. Oh, mine is AP History. Good talk. Nerd. But Algebra is one of my favorites. Let me know if you need help. Bingsky moves quickly. Wait, isn't that the geography teacher? Ring! Oops, class is over. Time for fourth period. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's the bell. I don't want to be tardy. But you're Bingus. With that, the pink gremlin scurried out of sight. Jeez. I don't want to be late either. You walk up to the door and cautiously enter the classroom.
the airlock <laughs> alleviates. Uh, uh, um, I think it would behoove you to be on time from now on, okay, Grolf? Yeah, I made it to class on time, and I was a teacher in a different class last period. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Binksky. I was barely late. You look at the classroom and are greeted by two familiar yet unfriendly faces as you find a seat. You roll your eyes and sit the furthest you possibly can from them. Yeah, what a bunch of fucking cocks, dude. Now for today, you are going to be reviewing lessons two, three, and four in preparation for your packets that are due on Monday! However, I am not a sociopath. Well, that's good. So for your review, you can break into groups of three. The class begins to split and group up, and you are left sitting alone at your desk. Oh no. Mr. Binksky approaches you with a thick packet of paper, placing it gently on your desk. Here is your packet to review. I know you're joining us in the middle of a unit, but this is all fairly simple! Just join a group, and they should be able to get you up to speed. Perhaps those two cats who hate you. Yeah. Looking around the room, you see the only available group is with Saga and his friend. Alright, let's do it. Turmoil. You, two spaces, heave a big sigh, and slowly gather your things to trudge over to Saga. Maybe they thought there was like a period here, and then it's like the, you know, the, the traditional two spaces like, after. The like, yeah, like they're like they're giving you instructions. You heave a big sigh. <laughs> you let your bag thud next to a desk near their group and sink into the seat. All right, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, weirdo. I'm gonna be expelled for physical violence, and it is only my first day. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I have a name. What is it again? Groft? Yup, what's yours anyway? I'm Big Floppa. <laughs> what kind of fucking name is that? Everyone here has such weird names. Must be a city thing. I am so pleased to meet you. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> your face flushes, and Saga and Floppa begin cackling as you scrunch up your face in anger. Why are you so angry? Do you just hate math or something? What? You know, goddamn well, I'm so angry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you! Do they not remember how they were antagonizing me less than 10 minutes ago? No, you guys are just jerks. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Why? Like Why? All the way across the room. <laughs> Why? Sobs. Don't act dumb. Uh, I'm not acting. <laughs> I think they're upset we teased them about mistaking you for a stalker. I, I can't believe you're that worked up over a joke. I knew I recognized you from somewhere. I already forgot about the stalker thing. Yeah, because you have the brain the size of a grape. I don't really like grapes. I think I might be allergic. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Oh, th thank you. Sorry, you can't take a joke. Oh! Jerks! Okay, I'm gonna work on this packet now. You guys have fun trading the same brain cell back and forth. Oh, damn. That was a good one. You ignore them and- oh. You ignore them and focus on the packet. As you scan the first page, it really doesn't seem fairly simple. It really does feel seem- it, it really does seem fairly simple, even for you. <laughs> <laughs> even for you. <laughs> you sit in silence, solving problems, leaving Floppa and Saga to their own devices. This algebra is for you. <laughs> you get to page three of the packet and sneak a glance at Floppa to see what he was on. Cocaine. Heroin. <laughs> He's only done the first problem and is staring at the second one intensely. You look over at Saga's, and he has doodled little stick figures all over his. He even misspelled his own name. Uh, how would you know how his name is spelled? He's a bit of a himbo. Mm. You, let a true. you let a smile upturn the corners of your mouth smugly and continue with your work. Hey, how do you do the second one? Uh, I'm not sure, sorry. You smile extra big and toothy and flop a huffs. Come on. This is supposed to be a group work thing, right? I love it when you call me Big Flopper. <laughs> Put your hands in the air if you was a true player. Right. <laughs> Imagine being a try-hard bully and stupid. Pick a struggle, dude. Oh, damn. Bro, at this point, you're the antagonist. Yeah, I know. I, like, oh, well. That's you. I mean, they didn't technically apologize. So. Right. Can you tell, can you just tell me what it is? 
apologize first over a joke. Yeah, if either of you want my help, you both have to apologize. I'm sorry I called you a weirdo, weirdo. It's a term of endearment. You look expectantly at Floppa. What are these two guys, gamers? <laughs> Fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't quite hear you. I'm sorry! <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you. Now for, now for two, it's super simple, actually. An amoeba could do it. You just use PEMDAS. Penis enhancement mechanical devices as such? <laughs> <What>? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan. It stands for parentheses. Uh. Uh. Not so easy, is it? <laughs> parentheses. I don't know what the E is. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. It's <laughs> pretty. Oh. Pretty excellent mythical dragons, asshole. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> asshole, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even think of using that. Uh, 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 how are things going over here? <laughs> oh my god. Like, you know what? These, all these cats, I thought this would be a sexy game. <laughs> but these cats looking at me is making it real hard to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, it was billed as a cat dating sim. Yeah, sure. They really snuck up. You really snuck up on us, Mr. Bingski. And the unit test is going to sneak up on you even worse once you finish the packet. We've gotten to page three so far. Only page three? There's 20 pages in that packet. Are you joking? That's so many. I mean, we've been working on it this whole time. I think we've kept a good pace. With that pace, you're lucky if you finish my money! I recommend you meet up together out of class time to finish this at maybe one of your houses, <laughs> in your bedroom, <laughs> under the covers. Mr. Mis Mr. Bigsky looks over at Saga's page. Saga, find a tutor. As quickly as he appeared, Mr. Bigsky was gone. Saga was crying over in the corner. Don't get butthurt, Sags. At least, not yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> Groft here will help us finish the packet later after school, right? Floppa looks over at you, a semi-pleading look in his eye. Help Saga and Floppa after school today? Yes, Saga is literally crying right now. No, watch them suffer. <laughs> this is pathetic. I guess they did apologize. If you really need my help, I guess I can study after school with you guys. Thank you, Groft. I owe you my life. Thanks. So where do we want to meet up? Not my place. My brother's been taking care of his... Wait. Mate, my brother has been taking one of his iconic floor naps for the past couple of days. He's dead. He's that sounds like he's dead. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I think that's his reaction. <laughs> How oh my about God. we go to a local restaurant and Note work on to it there. self, Saga's brother dead. <laughs> yeah, one of his iconic floor naps. Like does he always take that? No, I, this is the first time. I mean, if they're cats in high school, that means they're like in their senior year, that means they're like 17 or 18. Which means, yeah, they're probably gonna die any minute yeah, now. Yeah, that's, that's like a cat's age. Okay, for death. Cat death age. <laughs> age of death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about we go to a local restaurant and work on it there? Oh, yeah, we could go to Blazingalongies. Blazingalongies. <laughs> Blazingalongies. You always want to go there. It's very good ice cream. Fine. Is that okay with you? Sure, ice cream sounds great. I'm so excited now. Saga and Floppa both hastily leave the classroom, and you follow suit after. Where the fuck is Blazing Alongies? <laughs> uh, yeah. As you exit the classroom, you join the throngs of students milling around in the packed hallway. God, look at how packed it is. Yeah. Just can't fucking... You just can't. 
Floppa and Saga already dehydrated into nothingness. <laughs> you flip through the math packets as you walk, trying to come up with a plan to get everything done before Wednesday. I like that word. Packet. Packet? Yeah. Yeah. You open the packet. And That's... then you pack it into your butthole. Oh, I... <laughs> that was oh. the line. Oh, hi. Is that Bingsky's iconic unit number two math packet? Uh, I don't know. If we're using the word iconic correctly. <laughs> Bingus takes the packet from you excitedly, flipping through it with a knowing grin. Yep, just as I thought. How come you only have a couple answered? You should be able to do them pretty quickly. I... Do you want me to help you finish this after school today? No. Bingus, you're kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Aaron... Don't. Well, I gotta help the guys. Oh, oh! I thought this meant Bingus would join in with your group study session. Oh, I guess he could. I don't know about introducing a new person with these assholes, though. Yeah, maybe. All right. Yes. Yes. Uh, great. <laughs> Want to meet at Blazing Alongies? Blazing Alongies. Bla blazing Alongies. Yeah, I think it's blazing alongies. Blazing, al blazing along, blazing alongies after school. I find I do my best work there after one or two of their ice cream, iced cream cones. Sounds good. Dairy's not good for cats. Did you know that? See you then. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> Bingus di disappears into the crowd of people with a level of agility that shocks you. This is all over the floor in front of you. <laughs> Just fucking does that like the Scooby Doo run in the piss. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like a clearly tile floors, and they're all cats, so it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Why did they do a location change, but it's the same location? Walking further down the hallway, miles away, into a different town, you scan your schedule. <laughs> Going somewhere. <laughs> this guy's so weird! Class, Principal Banger! Which one? You quickly scan over the paper, feeling Bingar's eyes bore holes into you with his intense staring. English? Blah. Okay, hurry along, Grolft. Wouldn't want them to get you. Get me? Get me who? Before you can get Principal Bingar to answer, he begins to slowly creep down the hallway, eyes shifting from side to side, his dark, leathery body pressed up to the lockers. Hot. That was an oddly sensual description. <laughs> his dark, leathery body. You furrow your eyebrows and begin walking down the hall to where you think English would be. You have your head turned over your shoulder as you walk, watching Bingar's erratic movements down the hallway. What the fuck? <laughs> you... Complete the word fuck. <laughs> Aside from your dinner with your parents, you have nothing else going on tonight. What do you mean? We have to go to blessing along -ies. Yeah, we've done nothing but make plans for the rest of this day. <laughs> the open locker door makes solid contact with your right cheek, sending a thud through your skull. Oh my god. You finally face forward, discombobulated, <laughs> and realize you're seeing double. A booger. <laughs> <laughs> Did that locker give you a smacky? I'm smacky like I praise <laughs> those who don't pay attention. You shake your head, try to get the critter in front of you to come into focus. When that doesn't happen, you realize you're talking to twins. Yeah, it got me, I guess. You stare at the twins, bewildered as they erupt into a fit of giggles. Um, I'm Groft. Sorry I hit your locker with my face, ha. Huh? Boogie! Boogier! They both extend their paws to you in greeting, leading to an awkward double handshake entanglement. Nice to meet you. Now, if you'll just, um, excuse me, I have to go to English. Listen to this wacky theme music. <laughs> <laughs> their eyes widen in pure glee as they begin to shriek. English for Bulger and Booger too! Go English with Booger and Belger, Groft! Belger? They don't even know their own names? <laughs> Each twin grabs a hand and drags you to a stairwell leading to the upper floors of the school. They throw you down the stairs. <laughs> the twins lead you up some stairs and down another hallway, cackling like maniacs the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> their cries seem to have startled a rather young-looking cat standing in the front of the classroom. 
Oh my. That you started. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I guess I did. <laughs> oh, we I just, said, oh my. You were I just exclaiming it was on oh my. screen. <laughs> so it made me think of oh, it. Oh my, that's yeah. a well dressed cat who I believe has joined the priesthood? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Who have you brought to us today? Booger and Booger bring. <laughs> bring what? It's apparent that the teacher is trying to get them to use their big cat words. <laughs> the twins like fall the... silent and turn to each other, staring intently. Is this like the remedial class? Is that the idea? I have no idea. Yeah. Victim. No, not that. We use the word friend or guest boys or maybe dinner. <laughs> now find your seats. The twins sprint off across the classroom and begin squabbling over the same empty chair. I am just so, so horny. Sorry <laughs> about them. I love all of my students, but I've loved them a little less ever since the accident. Oh, no. <laughs> the teacher looks into the distance. Her one, it's her, one good eye going hazy. Anywho, I'm Ms. Poppy. What can I help you with? I'm just here for English class. Oh, you're my new student. How exciting to finally meet you, girl. Nice to meet you. You may be wondering, why does that cup in the background have a cute little cat face drawn on it? Because we're cats, you see. <laughs> Miss Poppy points towards an empty seat, and you take it. It came to life, and we've been keeping it as a pet. <laughs> Get it. It's running away. It trapped A soul of a cat was trapped in that Dixie cup. <laughs> Do not drink from it. Help. <laughs> Students filter in and take their seats. Well, that's the end of class. <laughs> the students file out to the next class. <laughs> Right when Miss Poppy's about to begin lecturing, the door swings open again. <laughs> oh, Kaga. Ka that's Kaga? Thank you for joining us. Jesus. Sorry, I just got back from the gym. <laughs> you take in the sight of the newcomer. He walks across the classroom and haphazardly tosses his bag beside an empty desk. A anything for you, Popeye? What the fuck? Whoa. No, I think that's him saying it. It's just... Because... Poppy should be Popeye. I prefer to think the teacher is having a wildly inappropriate relationship <laughs> with this clearly massive, been held back eight times, 27-year-old student. <laughs> you want to be a uh, Kaga? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anything for you, Popeye. Miss Poppy visibly stiffens. Join the club, her eye widening. <laughs> What's his problem? <laughs> You think back to what Bingus had said earlier and realize that this is the Kaga he was referring to. In what context, though? I don't remember. Uh, oh, I, he's one of the bullies? Yeah, I think he's the third bully. Let me see. This guy seems like a real piece of work in the bedroom. <laughs> Miss Poppy begins to lecture, and while she talks, you continue to sneak glances at Kaga. So hot. This is why proper comma use is important. And I, I wish that sentence have been filled with unnecessary commas. <laughs> this is why proper <laughs> comma use is important. Comma, 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 comma. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll learn other things next time on Game Rooms. Oh my god, are we gonna continue this? Yeah. It's really fun. At least one. Okay. At least one. Okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll just keep going, because I mean like it's intriguing, don't you think? <laughs> 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 Come on, I mean, it's pretty hot and intriguing. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, someone just visibly stiffened. It's, it's <laughs> making my heart go doki doki. <laughs> my making my Kokoro go doki doki, dude. All right. Bye, everyone. Kitten loves daddy when he plays games like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking that maybe the solution's a coffee. But then you get bing, another bing. Head. That's how it feels. Oh, you know what I mean?